Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 9 and in this video we're going to install WordPress locally on our machine. Okay then gang, so the first thing you want to do is head over to wordpress.org forward slash download and then click this button right here which is going to download the latest version of WordPress on your computer. After you've done that, you're going to see this zip folder right here. What you want to do is extract that and then you'll end up with this folder right here. So if we go into that folder and then this one, these are all the files that we're going to have to dump into our www root directory um, for WordPress to work on our local server. So what I'm going to do is come to WAMP and go to this directory. And then what I'm going to do is just highlight all of these and zoom them across into this folder. Now I've already deleted PHP, uh, sorry index.php in that folder. It might ask you if you want to override it, in which case just click yes. So once we've done that, hopefully when we go to the local host, it's going to throw up the new uh, index.php file, which is WordPress's installation screen. There we go, yeah it has done. Um, we just select English to begin with. Now it's going to ask us for a few things before we get started. The database name, username, password and host. Now, we've not set up a database yet for WordPress, so what we'll do is go into W, sorry, uh, PHP My Admin, and we're going to create that database. So just click on this new thing right here, and then we'll call the database WordPress, and click Create. Now, once we've done that, what you want to do is head over to Users, and click Add User. We're going to add a new user. This is going to be called WP Admin for me. Uh, the host is going to be localhost. Uh, the password I'm going to generate, and I'm going to copy that. Find notepad, and I'm just going to write it down there so we don't forget it. And then we need to give it global privileges. Click go, and there we go. We've added the user. So now we've got the username, the host, the password, and the table name. All right. So what we need to do now, oops is go back to this screen and say let's go. The database name was WordPress that we set up. This is WP Admin. And the password is gonna be this thing that we copied. Uh, the database host is localhost. The prefix is just gonna be the little bit of text that goes before the tables in our database. We can leave this as WP, that's absolutely fine. But if you wanna change it, you can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna submit right now and hopefully, fingers crossed, yep, it's run and it works. So we're going to run the install now. And the site title is going to be Resto. That's what it was called, right? And the username for the WP admin, the WordPress admin area, I'm going to leave as Ninja Man. That's pretty cool. The password for this, it's going to generate for me. So I'll do that and paste it down here. I'm going to save this file. You should probably do the same thing too so you don't forget uh, your email. You don't need to put this in. Um, it doesn't need to be correct. I'm just going to make one up. I'm going to say ninja at ninjahideout.com and we can untick that because it's just locally this is running on our computer. So now once we've installed, uh, sorry, once we've input all those fields, we can install WordPress. And hopefully this should take like two seconds or 10 seconds. 30 seconds, <laughs> but eventually guys, this should work. I've got my fingers crossed. There we go. So now we can log in. We just need to put our password in. I've already done that and it's wrong. So let's paste that in again and hope for the best. Yeah, this time it is right. Cool. So guys, we're now in the back end of WordPress and it's all installed on our computer. If we click this right here, you can visit the site from the front end, and this is the default kind of um, style or default theme that you're gonna get when you install WordPress out of the box on your computer. So, what we're gonna do in the next lesson is just have a brief overview of this back end area here, where we're gonna go through each of these different things here, and then we're gonna get cracking in turning our HTML and CSS into a WordPress theme. So don't forget to subscribe guys, like and share and I'll see you in the very next video.